So I found this clip online of the Vice journalist appearing on Andrew Tate's podcast. Now this journalist we've already done a video about and basically they were doing an interview with Tate that was super biased. They masqueraded statements as questions and pushed a narrative that Andrew Tate was guilty of human trafficking despite the charges being dropped. Although I do not like Andrew Tate, I do have to point out bias when I see it. And this journalist was highly biased towards him. I firmly believe in innocent until proven guilty, which which is why I made that video. Anyway, I wanted to show this clip because it's super awkward and shows the clear tensions between the reporter and the Tate brothers. So let's take a look. Uh, yeah, fix up. Let's show our man the test video that was made years ago before Corona. And this is what's coming to you. So pay attention to the screen. Now you can't hear the sound, but the sound is just uh, music. Can they hear us speaking? Yes. Wow, this, this does worry me. Ooh. That guy just died. What do you think you're gonna have to go through? If you had to guess what it is, what do you think it is? <laughs> I mean, is it is it like a like a physical training regimen that's really really intense? There's no training. Bro. Jesus Christ! This looks terrifying. There's no training. What else do you think it could be? Um. I don't know, I'm just getting more and more uh, sort of worried about it every every time you say something new. So this reporter is super nervous here, you can see. He pacifies by rubbing his leg and then rapidly moves his head between Andrew and Tristan. He's clearly very nervous and uncomfortable in their presence. And the rapid head movement is him trying to take in as much information as possible about the situation in order to improve his chances of survival should he be attacked. This is a natural urge and shows that his brain is hyper alert as he does not feel secure. He also pacifies by rubbing his brow and then fidgets with his legs. He's just all over the place here. And I'm not sure if this was before or after the interview where he basically tried to say that Andrew Tate was a human trafficker. Also notice how Andrew doesn't look at him at all here. I think this might just be immense awkwardness on his part or a lack of respect. Making eye contact would be awkward for him in this situation, given the context. Um, yeah, that's a good way to be. Yeah, that's a good way. Yeah, it's fine. Right, we have to do um, our normal broadcasting. Okay, it's been very, very nice to have you on the show. You've oh, been extremely yeah. interesting. Your singing voice has disappointed absolutely nobody. <laughs> I want you to know that you've been a fantastic guest, and you are welcome back anytime. Thank you very much. You're not, and uh, he look, is Tristan. He is. Look out for the film. Yeah, he is. Let Matt is welcome back anytime. While we move, I'm going to play a uh, TikTok of my Jacob and Co watch because. I can do those things. None of them look at the vice guy here. This total lack of eye contact shows a lack of respect. They don't think he's worthy of it. And clearly they see themselves as above him. They don't see him as a threat whatsoever. The guy does so many pacifying behaviors here. We'll be all night listing them. He's super uncomfortable and awkward here, despite Andrew being pleasant towards him. Also, you can see the veins in his arms are super pressurized. This could be down to an elevated heart rate, which would indicate extreme stress. Basically, his body is preparing to enter the fight, flight, freeze response out of fear and stress and causes his heart rate to elevate. He feels super vulnerable here and the large cluster of nonverbal communication he gives off all point toward the same thing. He is very very, very nervous. I do find it so interesting how Tristan and Andrew never look at him. It just shows how out of place this vice guy is here. And he knows it. I think this must have been after the interview, which explains why Tristan is so hostile toward him, as he was the main one criticizing him in the interview. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.